Okay, here's a series of masks that uh, I've carved and uh, have here at home. Uh, this particular mask is a Tsimtsian style uh, dying warrior. Uh, kids refer to it as the Spider-Man mask because of the colors in it. It uh, is carved in red alder, painted in uh, acrylics. Moving on next to it is a Nuchalt or Bellacula style mask. Uh, this one is also carved in alder. It would be considered as a uh, moon attendant. Uh, his job would be to scrub the uh, smoke off of the moon once a month so as to renew it and make it look like a new moon. Standing next to that is a Simpson style, well actually more of a McGovern style, uh, sun mask. The uh, eyes and uh, lips are uh, in gold foil. It's carved in a uh, big piece of uh, red cedar. It's all one piece and uh, painted in acrylics. Next to that is a Again, a Simpson style mask. This would be a shaman's mask and is uh, said to represent uh, Raven. Next to that is a quagilt uh, style mask. It's a uh, copper warrior and uh, it was a lousy piece of wood so I slathered a lot of paint on it to cover up all the mistakes and but, uh, it was salvageable. Here we have a uh, Tsimtsian style sun mask. Uh, this is all one piece of uh, red alder. Uh, the teeth are uh, foiled, uh, gold foil, as are the little circlets inside the rays coming off of the sun. Uh, then there's a, uh, another shaman's mask. This is in Simpson style. It's alder and uh, acrylic paints. This is a uh, Nutkin or uh, Nuchalnuth style uh, warrior mask. Uh, that's in yellow cedar and uh, those are acrylic paints, uh, simulated eagle feathers, and uh, I found a silver loop earring on the street, and so I stuck that in his nose, as uh, these Indians did have uh, nose rings, uh, as well as the women wore labrets in their lips. This is a uh, old man mask. The uh, carving is in red cedar. The uh, paint is... Uh, both oil and uh, acrylic paint. The eyebrows are wolf fur and the mustache is uh, goat fur. Uh, and I got this uh, design uh, from a macaw drum, so the style would have to be considered uh, macaw. Uh, and their, their style is uh, very similar to Nutkin or Nuchalnuth because uh, they're actually the same people, just separated by the uh, channel up there between Olympic Peninsula and uh, Vancouver Island. This is a print of a painting by Bill Holm. Uh, it's a uh, raiding party of uh, Haida warriors coming up in their canoes. Uh, I'm sorry but there's that's a little better. There's less reflection on it. Over here we have a uh, sun mask done in uh, black walnut. It was a beautiful piece of walnut that somebody had cut the tree down in front of their home and a uh, lady that I worked with at the state hospital, she rescued a couple of chunks for me and I was able to carve them. The halo is uh, in copper as are the eyes and the uh, eyebrows. And this is uh, Tsunaqua or Bigfoot. She's in uh, Quagilt style, 
uh, in the the name Sunaqua is from the uh, Kwakwakiawakwa language of the uh, Kwakil people. She's a uh, cannibal giantess who's uh, said to lurk in the woods at night to uh, swipe little kids who wander away from the uh, village. And she takes them up to her cave and uh, is gonna eat them. But she's kind of lazy and starts getting sleepy by the fire. So the kids tell her a nice story and uh, she takes a liking to them and then reveals where her supernatural treasures are. Uh, by the way, this uh, sun mask is in the style of the uh, Tsimtsian Indians. Now I'm getting down here to show a couple of other pieces. Ouch. This is uh, a quagilt style mask. It's a uh, wood spirit. It's carved in uh, cedar. Those are uh, hawk feathers in the uh, head. Actually, they're, uh, they're turkey feathers that are painted to look like hawk feathers. And uh, it's painted in acrylics and uh, oils. Uh, up above here, this is a uh, Inuit style uh, bear mask. It's the only one I've done in Inuit style, but uh, I like it. It's very simple. The little face uh, in the eye is carved separately and then uh, set into the uh, mask. This here is uh, the first piece I carved uh, when I was studying with uh, Doug Granham down at uh, the coast. It's a uh, Nuchalt or Bellacula style uh, mask. It's done in alder and uh, one of the features of the Bellacula style is these very fleshy looking faces, uh, thick lips, prominent noses. Uh, as you can see it's got a, uh, a very stylish nose. Okay then uh, over here a couple other pieces I've carved. This uh, eagle. I did that several years ago out of a uh, piece of cedar, a tree that uh, had fallen uh, during a windstorm. Next to it is uh, an owl. I carved that for Jean and uh, it's in uh, kind of a combination style of uh, Bellacula and uh, Haida. That's a big chunk of uh, red alder and painted in acrylics. And next to that is a uh, little model pole that I carved. It has a uh, raven up at the top. And the raven is sitting on uh, the sun as part of the uh, story of raven stealing the sun. And uh, then they're sitting on top of a grizzly bear who is holding on to a copper salmon. In front of that is a walnut bowl carved from a little chunk of walnut. It's in the shape of a hawk. You can't see it very well because of the... Ouch! I keep banging myself. And my wife is laughing at me. Uh, that still doesn't work very good, but there you get some idea of the, uh, the curve of it. My son Patrick refers to it as a stealth bowl. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for now. Hope you enjoy it.